Welcome to Sidza.com. Conversion of alkenes to vicinal halohydrins. This is an electrophilic addition reaction of alkenes. You can see here when you add uh, halogen in the water to alkenes, the double bond breaks, the pi bond breaks. We know there's a sigma bond and a pi bond. The pi bond is weak bond. The double bond breaks and you get a one carbon gets a halogen. The other one gets a hydroxyl group. So this is a halohydrin, right? So what is the mechanism of this reaction? How does, you know, you get a halogen and a hydroxyl group on the two carbon atoms? Let's, you know, draw the mechanism here. If we have a carbon-carbon double bond over here and you add some, you know, the halogen molecule, let's say the bromine molecule, okay, in the water. So what you will see, you will see that there is an addition of a, a bromine atom to one carbon and a hydroxyl group to another carbon. So this is a halohydrin molecule and what is the mechanism of this reaction? You know, in this carbon-carbon uh, double bond, if you have a carbon-carbon double bond over here and this, you know, electron pair, the pi bonds are loosely bound electrons with the carbon. And when you take this bromine molecule, bromine is itself a neutral molecule, right? And in the bromine we have, we know that each bromine atom has, you know, lone pair of electrons available. There are three electron pairs available over here. And when, you know, this alkene approach this molecule, it slightly polarizes this electron pair, right? Okay, it pushes, you know, these electrons, the pi electrons from the alkene, they push the, you know, this uh, electron pair in the molecule, in the bromine, and that creates some kind of, a, you know, this positive charge on this one. It polarizes to this bromine, and this bromine gets to be a negative charge, right? So it becomes, uh, you know, a polar. It creates a polarity in it when these pi electrons, they form a bond with the bromine, and then, you know, this pi bond, it breaks and forms a bond with this bromine. And then this, you know, uh, this bromine is lost here as a Br negative here. The electron pair goes with this Br negative. So now you get here a Br negative and this Br positive, right? This bromine over here, these pi electrons, they form a bond with this carbon. So what do you get? You get like this. You get a carbon carbon. Now you have a single bond and you have a bromine atom over here, right? And these electrons, they are used to form a bond with the bromine here. And this electron pair from the bromine again attacks on it and forms a bond over here. Now the bromine only has got, you know, two electron pairs, right? And we have here a Br negative, right? This is lost as a Br negative here, correct? And now this is a cyclic, you know, bromonamide, correct? This is a cyclic bromonamide. And then in the next step, it is the water molecule H2, which is a nucleophile that's going to attack on the, you know, this cyclic bromonamide. H2O molecule, we know it, it has the lone pair of electrons and it can act as a nucleophile. It's going to attack on one of the carbons, let's say here, and it will push this, you know, electrons towards the bromine. So what you get, you get a carbon with a Br, and now it has three electron pairs, and you get a carbon with the water molecule over here. The electron pairs from the oxygen form a bond and therefore the oxygen, you know, this gets a positive charge. In the next step, what's going to happen? This molecule, it will release the hydrogen as H positive. So you get OH over here, correct? So you get a carbon with the bromine here and you get a carbon with the hydroxyl group here. This is the mechanism of the, you know, addition of a bromine in the water to the alkenes. It's an anti-addition, bromine from the top, hydroxyl group from the bottom, correct? That adds to the carbon-carbon double bond. Now see, if this molecule is a symmetric alkene, you know, if the substitution is same, right? So then you have only, you know, you will only get one product. So there isn't any chance of any getting, you know, getting any other product. But if you have a alkene with different substitutions around the carbon-carbon double bond, so then how you get a final product? Let's draw the mechanism of another reaction. Well, you have an alkene carbon-carbon double bond, and you know, one carbon, let's suppose, has two hydrogens. The other one got one methyl group and a one hydrogen. When you add a bromine and the water, bromine and the water. It is the Br, Br positive, we have learned that, that attacks on it, right? And then in the next step is the hydroxyl group. 
Br bromine it goes to this carbon over here, right? And the hydroxyl group it is added to the central carbon. So the product is like this. You know, you get a CH3, COH here, H here, and now this is the CH2 with the bromine atom added to it. What is the mechanism? How do we get it? When bromine molecule add, you know, adds here, it forms the cyclic bromonamine. We have a carbon-carbon double bond. We learned that it is the bromine that's going to attack on it. It has a methyl group here, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Now these are having the electron pairs available. And first it's going to attack on this one, right? The electron pair. It will push these electrons and it will be lost as the Br negative here. Br minus and this electron pair is going to form a bond with this one. So you get a cyclic bromonamine, right? You get a cyclic bromonamine, CH3 here and the hydrogen here. Now a single bond. It has got two hydrogen atoms and a bromine atom with a positive charge bonded with this carbon and this carbon. It has two electron pairs available. Next step is the attack of the water, right? Water has, you know, electron pairs, so it is the H2O molecule that will attack on it. So the H2O molecule, H2O molecule is going to attack. We have, it has been proved that it is the uh, you know the more substituted carbon which is being attacked by the nucleophile right why that one only why not here why the why not the last one because you know you get here uh, a carbon which is actually having some uh, carbocation character and if you look at this particular carbon you know particular carbon here it will be you know more uh, more like a one degree carbocation and this one will be this one will be a secondary car you know carbocation correct it has so that means uh, the secondary carbocation is more stable than the primary one because we know the order of stability of the carbocation is tertiary is more stable than secondary which is more stable than the primary so here you you see in this example we have a secondary and the primary carbocation character because you know it is the bromine ion that will pull the electrons and that will create some positive charge you know on this particular carbon right so it has some delta positive charge here and this one also has some delta positive charge so it has some you know carbocation character and we know the order of stability of the carbocation is tertiary is more stable than secondary than the primary so that's why you will you know uh, get a secondary carbocation and therefore you know when this uh, hydro hydroxyl group and the water molecule adds over here it pushes the electrons from the bromine over here and then what do you get you get a ch3 here ch single bond CH2 Br over here with the three electron pairs now okay and the water is added to this carbon so it forms a bond again with the oxygen with the positive charge and then it releases the you know the proton over here so when it releases the proton what do you get you see we have a molecule like this CH3 CH OH and the CH2 Br. Right? Let's take a one more example. Suppose we have a cyclo, you know, a one methyl cyclopentene, right? Suppose, you know, we have a cyclic compound, or let's see, take the cyclohexene. This is a cyclohexene, and there is a substitution, the methyl group over here. When we add a bromine molecule in water, what will happen? Now, see. It is the bromine that will approach this one and it forms a cyclic bromonamine. The mechanism will be it's going to form a cyclic bromonamine and it will be like this. The bromine will be here bonded with this, you know, bromine with this carbon and this carbon. And this has a methyl group also. Bromine with the two electron pairs, the positive charge on it, correct? And it is the water in the second step. You know, the first thing is that it is the bromine that will approach you with this. And in the second step, what's going to happen? It is the water molecule that will attack on this one. Correct? So when the water molecule att you know, attacks, so we just learned that it is the water molecule that is going to attack on a more substituted carbon, right? So it will attack over here. And, you know, this will push the electrons towards the bromine here. So what do you get? You get an uh, intermediate like this. You get a metal here, CH3, 
and water added to it with the positive charge on the oxygen and the bromine will be here with the three electron pairs available this is the neutral molecule and now it will release the proton from here as H positive so then what do you get you get a molecule like this OH will be here the CH3 will be here and the bromine will be over here so if you look at the overall addition it is the addition of you know look at the starting component and the final product it is the addition of the bromine and the addition of the hydroxyl group correct remember it is the electrophile br positive that attacks in the first step and it is the hydroxyl group which is you know which is added as a nucleophile right so it is the hydroxyl group that goes to the carbon with more substituted you know uh, carbon we have here this is a more substituted because it is attached with the three carbons and this particular carbon over here it is only attached with the two carbon atoms this one and this one so remember hydroxyl group is added to the carbon which is having more substitution Hi bromine which is an electrophile which attacks first so it is added to the carbon that has less number of you know that has a less substitution all right so hope you got it thanks for watching the video bye for now